Hello guys, Solid Gamer here, and today we're reviewing Fake Elite Liner Prisma Ilya 3 Ray. This is the fourth season of Fake Elite. This was the most emotional season yet, as people from another world kidnap Mew, and Ilya explores a different world in hopes of trying to find Mew and save her. This season was emotional to me because these people from another world were trying to use Mew as a holy grail and sacrifice her. I felt so bad for Mew. She was trapped in that house and had no hope at all. It was like she was waiting for her death. I never seen Ilya so emotionally distressed before. She desperately wanted to save Mew. If you enjoy sad, emotional anime shows, this season is definitely something you will enjoy. It even had a plot twist that if Mew isn't sacrificed, then everyone in the world will die. It was amazing seeing Ilya deal with the question of, is it okay to sacrifice the life of one person to save the lives of many? I really like seeing Ilya's resolve in this season. She was going to save Mew no matter what. That is an amazing friend. This different world was really fascinating right from the start. Everything in that world looks similar to the world Ilya lives in, but the characters are very different. I was not expecting one of the most evil characters in the Fate Stay Night universe to be working at a shop in this world and be used as comic relief. That was hilarious to watch. That character acted so unlike how I was used to seeing him act. The Shiro in this world was also a shocking twist. I was not expecting Shiro to be an amazing fighter in this world. It was so cool seeing Shiro fight once again. He was fighting like how he was fighting in Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. He had cool white hair and acted very confident as a character. It made the fight so much better to watch. There was even an amazing appearance by Sakura in the season, and I was not expecting that form of hers. That was pretty creepy. In terms of the actual fights that were entertaining to watch, it featured three strong enemies in Beatrice, Angelica, and Julian. Beatrice could use a weapon that could send out energy blasts. Angelica was essentially a female Gilgamesh, and Julian could create and destroy class cars. That is so OP. It was so cool seeing Kid Gilgamesh fight against a female version of himself. I really liked seeing Gilgamesh show Angelica how to really use his power. It was not an easy battle for Ilya and her friends. Ilya had used so many class cards in order to even stand a chance against them. It was nice seeing the villains of the previous season and Gilgamesh and Bezette work together with Ilya to take down the Ainsworth family. There was even a bizarre girl in Tanika that looked useless during battle, but later on provides a key role in defeating the Ainsworth family. There was strategy used during fights as characters used a previous experience in fighting the Ainsworth family, trying to predict the Ainsworth family movements and actions during a fight, and it worked wonderfully. Ultimately though, I was not a big fan of the ending of the major fight between Ilya and the Ironsworth family. Ilya won the fight through a miracle that occurred just at the right second. I did not like how there was suddenly a magical weapon that Tonka threw to Ilya to save everyone. Couldn't they have used that weapon earlier and just end the fight earlier? I really liked the fights in the season because the villains in this fight actually felt like villains. Up until now, Ilya has fought against Class Cards and Gilgamesh. Even Gilgamesh felt like a neutral character who just wanted to have fun. The three villains in the season felt really sinister. They didn't care about how Mew felt at all. I know they're just trying to save the world, but they were being unreasonable. They kept thinking the Holy Grail is the only way to save the world. They didn't even think about the possibility of working with Ilya and her friends to save this world. Ilya came from a different world, so maybe they could find a way to fix the lack of energy in the world for using resources in Ilya's world. Ironsworth family just kept saying the Holy Grail is the only way to save the world. There was no reasoning with them. They tortured Mew and even turned Ilya into a doll. Even if they're trying to save the world, they still seem like heartless people. That made the moments where Ilya and her friends beat them even better because the Ainsworth family was so unlikable. The opening and ending for season 4 was amazing. The music during the episodes was great to listen to once again. The animation style looked the same as the animation style of the previous seasons and the animation during intense fights looked great for the most part. I do recommend watching the season as this was the best season so far in the Fake Elite series. There was a lot of action and plot progression. We got to learn more about the cars and who made them. It was really emotional to watch as well, as Mew was kidnapped and trapped. It was so sad to see her struggle and be depressed. I give the season a 9 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.